With iConnect MIDI, you can plug in up to two iOS devices to make music. Demetrio Navarro here of iConnectivity. Now why would you do that? iOS devices provide an extremely rich set of features for input, including touchscreen and an accelerometer. The touchscreen is extremely responsive and can be used effectively and in unique ways to create music. Here we'll use two apps available in the App Store from Wisdom Music, one GeoSynth and the other SampleWiz. First let's start with an iConnect MIDI, and we'll use a couple of iPads. Let's get all the cables in place and plug everything in. Plug power into iConnect MIDI. Then attach an iConnect MIDI cable to each of the iPads. You'll need to purchase a second cable to plug in the second iPad. The cables are available from our website. You'll notice the lights on the front panel of iConnect MIDI flashing momentarily when you plug into an iOS device, and that's normal. Next, let's start up our apps. One of the first things you want to set within the apps is to ensure that the MIDI channels are matching and that you're sending and receiving MIDI data through the correct ports. Now this is especially important on the iOS device that's receiving MIDI data. In this setup, the SampleWiz iPad will be receiving MIDI data from the GeoSynth iPad. Now this is relatively simple in this case because by default all incoming MIDI data on any port of iConnect MIDI gets replicated to every one of its ports. So you'll have a default connection as soon as you plug in the iPads. On these apps all MIDI channels are active. GeoSynth will be transmitting on a single MIDI channel, while SampleWiz receives data on all MIDI channels. So it'll receive a MIDI stream of data on a single MIDI channel from GeoSynth. The way I'm going to use this is that I will play the iPad that has GeoSynth and trigger the sounds on SampleWiz. Why do I do it this way? Because GeoSynth has a cool interface to play. It's not your conventional keyboard interface, but instead it's a matrix of buttons that you can touch and slide between them. On the other hand, SampleWiz has some really interesting sounds, and you can even sample your own sounds. The MIDI data that's generated from sliding between the buttons on Geosynthesizer is a lot of pitch bend data. And you can see that iConnect MIDI is easily handling that huge amount of data from multiple fingers. That sounds pretty good. Thanks for watching, and have a good time making some music.